So in this video, we're just going to show you how we open it up. It's not really that complicated, of course. And you can see that it's packed and it's styrofoam. So these are extremely, really well packed. So when you get your twin Mighty Mouse Mini Crane, they're going to come in two, four, five boxes. So right here, you're going to get your two dollar bill acceptors. Those will be Mars. Each one of the top tops for your Mini Crane. And then this box right here, this is going to be the base. You've already taken apart part of the box. Enrique here is going to demonstrate. When you pull it off, you're going to be pulling it out. Go ahead and pull that right out. And you can see how well it's packed in a sturdy box. This can go by FedEx or by UPS or by, um, or by trucking if you'd like, either way. Okay. We're going to take off that and those out of those boxes. We'll show you in a second. Okay, once you get them out of the boxes, it's pretty much going to look like this for you. You can have these two. These are your dollar bill acceptors, Mars. And the base, and you can see those are the blank holes where the DB, where these DBAs are going to go. So the next video we're going to show you is how to take out those plates, and then how to install the DBAs in their place. That's what's next. So hang on, we'll be right with you. Okay, so along with your packages, you're going to get these two um, containers. They're for the uh, coins if you wanted to put an extra coin uh, a coin box in there and each one of these inside will be a set of keys and a security screw, a security screw right here excuse me security driver right here so we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the key and we're going to open the door here so once you open up the door with the key you're going to see these two plates right here one and two and you're going to see these nuts and you're going to use a what was it whoops it is a 5 16 deep socket wrench and you're going to take this plate right out you're going to just take these four nuts out four over here and pull that out to open up the holes what we're going to do is we're going to hold on to those nuts that we pulled out and now two empty holes and now we're going to take the dollar bill acceptor and you can see the the studs are still there so go ahead and install that we'll get to that in a second oh go ahead and put that on so we have this uh, wire harness that's going to go for the dbas and that gets plugged right up into here we'll do that first okay now that we've inserted the wire harness for the dba that goes in here and they're coated. It's got a plastic tabs in there, so it can only go in one way. And it's going to go on the top here. We're going to go ahead and install that. Now it sits there on those studs. And we're just going to go ahead and tighten those nuts right up so the dollar bill acceptor is securely in place. Okay, now we're finished installing the two DBAs into the door of the uh, base of the crane. And you'll note right here on the wire harness coming out of your DBA, there is a green wire that goes to the ground. So one of the, one of the nuts that holds the DB in place you're going to use is the ground wire. Same thing over here, it's green and yellow wire. You're going to do that. Then the next thing that we're going to do is draw our attention to the cash boxes there. You're going to grab the key and you're going to open the cash boxes. In each of the cash boxes, there's going to be something of, that you're going to need. One in this one, over here, we can see we have a power cords, or a power cord over here. In this one, we're going to have two two wire harnesses, one long and one short. Those two wire harnesses are for the DBAs. They're going to go from the base units of these machines and connect to here, and eventually we'll connect to the dollar bill acceptor. So we're going to go ahead and show you how that gets connected. So we're going to take the tops right here, 
of these top units and we're going to place them on top of the base and then we're going to install these wire harnesses and we'll show you how that's done. Okay, inside the cash boxes you're going to see six, six of these. These are security bolts that take your base unit once it's on the machine and connects it to the base. So you're going to note here there's, for instance, on this side, which we don't have the base on, obviously, one, two, and three holes. This is where that wire harness that we're going to install in a minute is going to go in. You're going too fast there. And then um, underneath the machine is where you're going to take these and screw them in to hold them in place so you have security. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay. So now that the top's securely on the base of your mini crane, you're going to take this security tool and you're going to unscrew these two screws, which are going to open up the back. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take one of these, since we only got one on the base right now, we're going to take one of these and install it into the back of the machine to power it up. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, you can note here, now that we've taken that door down with the security crews out, you've got the back of the machine, which has got your power supply, your printed circuit board, your AC switch, and then this will go right to the front of the door over here. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take one of these wire harnesses here, and we're going to need to to um, take the white cord that's here and this black one and we're going to connect it to the power supply. So white is going to go to blue, the blue wire in here, and black is going to go to the brown wire. So we're going to go ahead and unscrew a little bit of the, the screws that are holding the wires onto the power supply and we're going to insert these two in each of their right spots and that'll secure this wire harness for the power that it needs to go to your coin mech and to your dollar bill acceptor. Okay, now that we've successfully completed, we attached the white wire from the cable and the wire harness, excuse me, to the blue wire on the power supply and the black wire onto the brown wire that's onto the power supply. And you're going to note one wire connector is going to be very, very long, this black one. And at the end of it, you're going to have this Molex. This Molex is going to go to the dollar bill acceptor. There's also going to be attached here connectors, and these are going to go to the coin mech and tie in with the coin mech so it can read the pulses. So always remember that there's going to be one really long one and one short one. And here's the picture of the short. Here's a picture of the short one right here. Now why is there a long one and a short one? Well, it's kind of real simple. The reason being is that when you open the door, you can see that you're going to need a longer wire to reach the dollar bill acceptor on one side as opposed to the one that's closest to the door opening. So the short one's going to go on this and the long one's going to go on that one. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to feed this wire that goes to the dollar bill acceptor and the connector through this hole right here that goes into the base of the machine. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, once again we installed the second unit now on top of the base. And again we applied the white wire to where the blue wire was on the power supply and the black wire to where the brown wire was on the power supply. And again we're going to take these and we're going to push those through to the front connect to the coin mech, which we'll demonstrate in a few seconds here. And we're going to run this wire. I zip tied. I'm going to cut those. Um, we're going to bring the Molex and we're going to push it down into that hole through the cabinet to connect with the dollar bill acceptor, which we installed on the, doll, on the door earlier. Okay, we're going to show you a um, successful wire harness drop down from the, from 
the tops machines through the base around the cash box. They're going to be zip tied in four different spots. So they're secured and out of the way. Now we're going to move on to the next phase, which is we're going to be opening up these coin mechs right here. And we're going to show you how to connect the wire connector harness that we just installed to the coin mech. All right, here we go. We're going to open up this coin mech. These are electronic coin mechs. When this comes stock, you'll come with this connector right here. Go ahead and pull that connector out. Okay, and put it off to the side. And you're going to grab inside from that wire harness that we did. And that's going to go back into the same spot that we just took out that harness. And you're going to see this right here. Match up the wires. And that's going to connect up. Perfect. And the other thing we're going to need to do, hold on. we got to put in electronic coin mech. We're going to have to put a quarter in right here. That's the comparator. That's called a comparator. So we're going to take this quarter and we're going to insert it right there. And now that recognizes the electronic coin mech recognizes that that's the coin that's going to go through this mech. So we're going to go ahead and reinstall that. Okay, we're going to do, go ahead and do that to the other side. Perfect. And go ahead and take this quarter. There we go. Now we're all set. Okay, the very next step that we're going to want to do is to cut the zip ties that are holding your claw and carriage in place. You don't ever really want to ever plug in your machine and turn it on before you unzip tie excuse me, you cut the zip ties on the carriage. So you're going to cut one, two, three, and I think there's one more way in the back, four. Five? Okay, five. Okay, so the carriage should move freely back and forth like this, right to left, and this will be holding right there. So we're going to go ahead and do the other side and finish that up. Okay, we're going to take our uh, AC power cords, plug them into the back, put them onto a power source, and you're going to note when you plug it in, that the crane does not come on. And that in the beginning is because the factory has set it so that the actual switch, which I'll show you down here, the on off switch, which you'll see right here, okay, is already turned on. But there's another power switch. And we're going to show you exactly why that is. So we're going to go ahead and open up this coin door again. And we're going to Turn on the power. Okay, inside here you're going to see this power switch right up here. And this is going to power up. And it's going to go through its test. Okay, we're going to go to the other one and do the same. Okay, apparently at the factory, they leave the volume on pretty loud. So we're going to show you how to go ahead and lower the volume. You can see it's 
see inside there the volume control. It's up top. Try to turn it nice and low. Okay, let's do the other one. and quiet. Okay, now we're going to show you how to put in the test so that we can set it for the right coin, number of coins per play, or pulses per play if it's a dollar bill acceptor. And we're going to show you how to do that in a second. Okay, I'm going to show you how you can um, put this in programming mode. So you can see that there's a power button here and a test button. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut off the crane. We're going to push in the test button, leave it held on, so keep putting pressure to it, and turn on the switch for power. And what we're going to see is PP and a flashing zero. So we're going to go, in this case, we're going to go to number seven. So we're going to take the joysticks, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to push this button and it's going to say, oh, five. So that's set from the factory five quarters. That's $1.25. For my sake, purpose, this is my machine for today. I'm going to set it for $2 per play. So I need to go eight, eight coins. So I'm going to go ahead and go six. Oops. That's number seven. Like I said, number seven, five, six. Seven, eight. That's eight quarters. And just to show you, now we're back to the flashing. We're going to go program eight. That's one credit. So eight coins, one credit. Okay, now we're going to go to number 18. Because at the factory, they kind of messed up from the factory. They didn't allow for the uh, claw to come down far enough. So we're going to go to 18, push. It's showing the number 32. We're going to want to make it go to 61. So we move the joystick to 61. And you can see that the claw is going to show you the length that it's going to go down to, which is substantial down to the bottom. Back up. And now in order to save that, we're just going to go ahead and turn off the machine. And turn the machine back on. And that's how you program the coins and the number of plays per coin. We're going to go ahead and do that to the other side. I'm going to lower the volume a little more on this one. There we go. Okay, we're going to set up this crane on this side for one dollar. The reason why I'm doing that is I'm going to make this into a candy crane. So I'm going to have two plays for a dollar. Now some of you might think, well that's 50 cents per, but I'm not going to allow people to put 50 cents in to take one piece of candy. I'm going to make them put a dollar in. So again, we're going to shut the machine off. We're going to push the test button on. Whoops. Turn on the machine. PP, let release, zero, zero. We're going to go to number seven again. Set five. We're going to make it four. Okay. And now we're going to go number eight. And we're going to make it two. So one, four quarters for two plays. There we go there. And now we're going to go again to the number 18 to set the claw, uh, the string length. It shows 32. We're going to go to 61. as it goes all the way down. Okie dokie. Now we're going to turn that off. And when we turn it back on, all the settings are saved. So this side right now is $1 for two plays. This is going to be the candy side. 
and this side's going to be eight quarters or two dollars per play for one play. Okay? Now you're going to note that the claws are the same. So you're going to have a choice. And I'm going to show you my new choice for myself, and it's an option for yourself as well. And we'll get to that in a second. Okay, what I'm going to show you now is a new candy claw I just had designed from the manufacturer. It's going to be a real simple change. All you're going to have to do is just unscrew the top, pop out the uh, small little mini claw, and pop this one right into its place and screw it back on, and you're going to be all set to go. So these are not coming standard with your double crane that's going to come with the two mini claws like you see here if you do want a claw a candy claw to put in there you're going to need to order it it's going to be a little extra money i'm not sure exactly what the cost is quite yet because i'm going into production shortly and we'll find out what the uh, cost is when i do uh you know whatever quantity i can get um in any case you can use the mini claw i've been using it for a while on my uh, candy claws and it picks up one piece of candy but a lot of people like to see this kind of a claw. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to show you how that's installed. So we're going to go ahead and drop the claw down a little bit so we have some wiggle room to move around. We're just going to unscrew the screws that hold the claw into place. screw. Pop that off. Okay, we'll take the claw. We'll go ahead and just put push that into the candy claw, the new candy claw. Make sure you put the wire on it correctly, and we're just going to go ahead and screw back on the cap. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and screw those three screws on. I'll say we're going to go ahead and test the claw now that it's been installed. This is pretty quick and painless. No candy there, but that's okay. Okay. And that's perfect. Okay, some final steps here. Some of the things you're going to learn as you go along in this business is always check the machine before you leave the shop. So if we're going to check the coin mix. This is the candy side, so we're going to put in four quarters, and it should show as two. So that's one dollar, two credits, or two pieces of candy, or two wax of candy. That's one, two. Three, four. Okay, we're successful. Okay, on this one here, we set this at two dollars, so we're going to put eight quarters in. Two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Guess it didn't like that quarter, and we have one, so we're successful there too. Okay, remember these are winner every time cranes, so you're gonna keep playing until you get something. The next thing that we would wanna check, of course, would be the dollar bill acceptors. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put two one dollar bills on this side and one dollar bill on this side. And of course, correspondingly, we should get one, one extra credit here when we put our two dollars in and we'll get 
Um, when we put $1 in, we'll get another two credits on there. So that's all working. You're ready to go. The, everything's set. All you're gonna need to do is put some decals here, which come with your crane. And um, that's about it. Let me see if I'm missing anything else. I do have some optional things that are coming on its way, some signage, uh, extra signage, electronics, that'll be pretty cool. Uh, but that'll be for another video. So I'm gonna be taking this crane today and bringing it to a new location and setting up $2 for toys on one side and $1 for candy on the other. And when I'm finished with that, I'll probably show you a quick little picture or a video of that when it's on location. Thanks for joining.